Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make burger animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's click this icon for see background. And in this time, select this layer 1 and go to solo. Let's press P. Let's hold Ctrl R and select line like this or let's move it down okay so in this time let's move it down this layer one and create new passing keyframe and go to 14 keyframes let's click time duration write 14 and click ok so let's move it up move it up more and go to again 14 keyframes let's write plus 14 click ok and move it down let's zoom in here okay let's move it down like this so let's preview animation okay so select keyframes and make it easy or click f9 and go to graviator let's see and right now i want to create jumping and failing animation for realistic movement select middle keyframe and move to left and this move to right let's see okay pretty good and back to keyframes let's go to last keyframe and let's go to three keyframes for go to frame by frame use page down keyboard one two three and let's zoom in here and move up go to three two frames one two three select this two frame copy pass let's see so we have problem with the last three two frames select last three two frames right mouse two frame interpolation and change current settings to linear click ok let's say again okay it works so let's select these all position two frames move to right and go to back Hold Shift, press S, open scale, and let's change scale 0, create new scale two frame, and go to here, change scale 100%, and make it easy. Let's see. Okay, select position two frames, move to left. Select scale two frame, move to left for more fast. Okay, let's zoom in here okay move to left again this position two frames nice and go to first second here hold shift press r open the rotation create rotation two frame and go to middle two frame chain rotation minus 12 go to next two frame change six again next two frame change minus three and next two frame change zero and make it easy let's see okay and go to graph editor select this middle graph and make failing rotation keyframes nice let's make a little bit okay that's good so back to keyframes select all of them keyframes let's copy with ctrl c go to first second select another layers ctrl v for past keyframes okay so let's unsolo let's see so in this time select this layer 2 and go to three keyframes one two three and zoom in here move to right again three keyframes one two three move to right again one two three move to right again one two three move to right and let's one go to three keyframes and move to right so in this time select layer 2 and press p select all position two frames and go to last position two frame this very important way here and select position two frames go to last position and move to up like this let's hide other layers let's zoom in here okay and let's put like this let's see 
Okay, so go to middle two frames, select these middle position two frames and move to down. Nice. Let's move down a little bit. So in this time, select layer three and let's enable and press P again, select position two frames and go to last position two frame and move up. And let's see. Okay, go to middle two frame, select middle two frame and move to down. Very good. Select layer four, let's go to enable, press P, select position two frames again, go to last position two frame and move to up. Go to middle, select middle two frame and let's move to down like this. Very good, and select layer 5 and enable, press P, select position 2 frames, go to last position and move to up. And go to middle, select middle 2 frame and move to down like this. Very good, and finally select layer 6, let's unhide, press P, select position 2 frames, go to last position 2 frame and move to up. Okay, go to middle two frame, select middle two frame and move to down like this. Okay, that's good. Let's select work area. So, very nice. And in this time, select all of them layers. Let's close settings and go to pen tool. Let's hold shift and make one line like this calculation tool go to stroke width change 12 and color let's use eyedropper select this brown color click ok and for make smooth line select shape layer open inside contents shape one stroke one change butt cap to round cap and go to first second let's select shape layer change name lion and go to add let's use trim path for animated and open trim path one change end zero create end two frame and go to here change 100 select two frames make it easy go to graph editor and let's make smooth graph let's see Okay, change stroke width back to two frames, select last two frame of the right. Okay, let's close settings, select this line and let's change stroke width 25 and color, let's use black and move up. Okay, select line, press U select two frames make it two frames like this okay so back to two frames and let's create new solid layer for background add name background click ok move to behind of layers and go to fs presses search fa gradient ramp select gradient ramp use for background and change in color like this Let's use yellow and start color, change light yellow. Click OK, change ramp shape, radial ramp and select this point, move to down and this point, move to center. Let's see. OK, that's good. And finally, select these burger layers and line, click this icon for motion blur. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, add comment and like video. Have a good day.